ओके हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट ट्रांजिट रूल एंड द बाउंड्रीज रूल ओके नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट मेथड इज अ गैलेस ट्रावर्स मेथड ओके सो इन अ गैलेस ट्रावर्स टेबल द डेटा इज गिवन टू अबाउट व्हाट द लेंथ ऑफ द लाइन एंड द बेरिंग और यू कैन से द coordinates of the wcb is given now here this is the given data line length and the whole circle bearing now we need to prepare a galas traverse table so this is the galas traverse table okay now first data that in the first column you need to write a station so this is your station a b C D, okay, and according to there is a line A B B C C D and the D A, and also length measure the length of A B is equal to hundred and ten, B C is equal to eighty minute, eighty meter, okay, this is dimension in a meter. Then C D ninety five, D A one sixty, and the whole circle bearing the angle is given to you. Hundred and ten degree, one seventy degree, two fifty degree, and the three fifty degree. Okay, now what is the first step of a galas traverse? So you need to convert this whole circle bearing into radius bearing. Okay, so all of you know how to convert the whole circle bearing into the radius bearing. Okay, so it is your fourth quadrant that is your north, south. east and the west so just i will explain the one angle of a whole circle bearing into radius bearing okay after that the others or the remaining radius bearing you need to measure as well so first is what the whole circle bearing is is 100 and the 10 degree 100 and 10 degree in which quadrant so it is in a second quadrant between 90 to 180 degree so it is in a second quadrant so just i right here 100 degree somewhere there here so now how to write that is the south now here i want to need to measure that is the 180 degree this is the 180 and this is a 90 okay so when you measure or write a radius bearing is always a less than 90 degree so we need to convert into radius bearing so at that time You need to measure that is the one eighty minus one hundred ten. It is about seventy degree. So south seventy degree towards east. So that is your radius bearing south from south seventy degree towards east. Okay. So that is your radius bearing south seventy degree from the south seventy degree towards east. Got it now. For other one that I already calculate because I am not wasting the time to find out. Just try to find out for this value. Okay, so this is for you. Now after finding the reduced bearing, now you need to calculate the coordinates, the consecutive coordinate that is the latitude and the departure. Okay, you need to calculate the latitude and the departure consecutive coordinate. That means what? here now all of you aware about that is the north south is called the latitude and the east west is called the departure so now we need to put a equation latitude is equal to what so latitude equal to l cos theta and the departure equal to l sin theta okay so this both equation you need to use according to positive sign or a negative sign you need to indicate it if it is latitude is a positive so you need to mention in a north column if the latitude is with a negative sign so you need to put in a south column okay got it so here i will show you how to first okay, that is the l cos theta l equal to okay so for the first line ab what is the south 70 degree towards east and the whole circle bearing is given to you 
so i recommend you go with the wcb why because when you go for the wcb the answer with the sign okay if it is a positive value or a negative value so in we if you use that whole circle bearing the positive and the negative sign is indicated but if you use that value of a rb value that is the 70 degree okay you need to use that whole circle bearing for the sign that is the negative or the positive so first we need to find out the latitude so here i will calculate that is the l cos theta so what is the l l is the length that is the 110 meter multiply with the cos theta theta means what 110 degree the sign into what that is give you the minus 37.62 degree okay so it is a minus minus means what for the no in a north column so here just i need to put that is the 37.62 so south itself indicate a negative sign okay no need to mention here the negative sign because the south direction it mention already that it is a negative sign okay same as for the bc so 80 degree multiply the cos 170 degree okay so it indicates the minus that is the 78.78 now for the departure departure means what l sin theta so 110 Sorry, 110 multiply with sine theta 110 degree. Okay, so here 103. It is a positive, so you need to put in a eastern side. Okay, so put 103 here. 103.36. So that is your answer. Same as for the BC line, that is the 80 into 170. Sorry, into sine 170 degree. So that is your answer. It is positive. So you need to put in a eastern side. Okay. So that is the 13.89. Now also you need to calculate for the CD line and the DA line. okay in which if it is a positive so put in a south direction if it is a negative sorry it will negative then put in a south so column if it is a positive then put in a north column same as for the departure if it is a positive then put in a eastern column and if it is a negative then put in a western column now after that we need to calculate the sigma l and sigma d what is the value of the sigma l and the sigma d okay right now i just write the value of the sigma d after the solving the all the latitude and the departure you have some value so there is a sigma l is equal to 8.68 and the sigma d is equal to 0.21 both value are positive okay so this is the sigma l and the sigma d here you can say that we have some non zero value so we need to balance the traverse okay so for that there is a correction is given to you now how to apply that correction we need to check how we use that bowditch rule or a transit rule okay now here we can use the transit rule because here the angle is given to you and the latitude is given to you okay so we have the latitude of the ab line the total arithmetic sum of the line is given to you so just you need to put the value in the transit rule okay so i will show you how to find the correction using the transit rule okay so
okay now the transit rule for the corrections okay what is the transit rule so for the ab line okay first we need to latitude of ab then what the error in latitude divided by arithmetic sum okay we need to put that value okay arithmetic sum of a latitude so we have here you can see that from the table we have the value just we need to add those value and find out the arithmetic sum that is if we have the total latitude like in transit rule we add the all amount like a 37 plus 78 then the value is given to you okay so we have the total sum of a latitude and the departure is we need to put here okay i use this for the my reference okay so what is the latitude of the ab so the latitude of the ab is a 37.62 now correction is what the correction is 8.68 okay and divided by arithmetic sum okay i will calculate that is the arithmetic sum is equal to 157.57 Okay, it is a 306.46. When you calculate the all the value here, the all the value of the latitude, after that you are in a position to find out that arithmetic sum, this value, 306.46. So first you need to find out the all the latitude and the departure. Okay, if you want to find out that correction in the length of ab here we use the latitude not in boundaries rule we use the length but here we use the latitude of the ab line and the correction of the latitude and the sum of the total latitude got it everyone so here the sum is given to now we need to check the correction so 37.62 multiply the 8.68 divided by 306.46 so it is the 1.056 here now here you can see that there is a two correction north and south now which sign we need to put out here positive or a negative okay that we need to discuss first whether we put a positive sign or a negative sign so here you can see that this value is a positive okay the error is what the closing error sigma l is equal to positive value so we need to add, put a negative sign okay negative sign negative sign means what south direction so we need to put that south direction so in a those who value in a south this already a minus sign so if the minus sign is put here so just add this value that is the 1.065 why because we need to put a negative sign what did everyone now for the second one that is the 78.78 multiply 8.68 divided by 306.46 same as here we need to put a negative sign so it is a 2.23 now here in a last okay i will show you for the just over like a, there is a 157 i already find out that fourth one it is a, in a north direction so it is a 157 okay so 157.7 that is the latitude into 8.68 divided by 306.46 so this is the 46 okay 4.46 is given to you but in which direction that is in a north direction okay so 
if it is a not direction we need to negative sign so we need to put this negative sign because here what minus sign minus sign it will be positive so minus minus positive so just we need to add here 37 plus 1 78 plus 2 but here we need to subtract this value because this is the positive value this is a negative value so negative minus negative becomes a positive here the positive value and we need to add the negative subtract so that's why we need to put here that is the 4.46 so when you put in a not column you need to put this equation in a negative got it so this is a negative one okay now this is the correction for the latitude after finding the correction you need to add or subtract from the consecutive coordinates okay so what we need to do here we need to find out the value of it is the 37.62 this is we need to add that is the plus 1.065 okay that is the 38 so we need to put in a south that is the 38.685 okay you can set fix up to the 12 decimal not worry about it same as for the 78.78 plus 2.23 Okay, so it gives you the 81.01. That is your corrected coordinates. Okay, it is your corrected consecutive coordinate. Now here we need to subtract it because this is a positive value, and if the positive value is there, the positive correction is there, we need to add put a negative sign. So that is the 157.57 minus 4.46. So is equal to what 153.11 so we need to put here that is the 153.11 what it everyone so now after calculating the consecutive coordinate that is the latitude and the departure then the correction in the latitude and the departure and after applying correction that there is the correct latitude and departure we need to find out the independent coordinate now for the independent coordinate we need to give some value that is the northing and southing so if you want to put that is the fixed value that is we need to assume this is the not fixed value we need to assume okay so we i assume that is the 200 in a north direction and a 100 in a east direction so now just we need to add if it is a south direction so we need to subtract if it is in a not direction then we need to add same as for the eastern side if it is a eastern direct column then we need to add or if it is in a western side just we need to subtract it got it so here just i show you one example that is the 200 minus 38.68 then it give you the value of 161.32 same as from the 168 minus 81.01 it's give you the 80.31 okay and that is after the third point if you have this value like a third point is what we have some value that is the value is equal to 46.77 now in a north column there is a 153 so we need to add this 153.11 so when we add this value then it become almost that is the 200 that is the our assumption okay so when you add this value let's become this is the initial though when we assume value and the last value both are same if the both are same that means our traverse is properly balanced and after finding the correction you need to find out that is the sum that is the sigma l and the sigma d is becomes a zero okay so when you find that this is the sigma l sigma d is always a zero after the correcting it what is so this is the gales traverse table okay if you have any question though ask in a comment okay we will solve it together what is so this is the method of a balancing the trap <coughs> sorry now try to solve it.